Hello and welcome to Lifestyle with Chinese Versatile. Thank you for stopping by. All right, so today I would like to talk about yoga, okay? Reason is I find that many people cringe when they hear the term yoga, like it's some idol worship or anything idol related. But well, when we talk of yoga, basically, we are actually talking about the yoga asanas. Asanas means um, exercises, okay? So, having completed the 30 days um, yoga challenge um, by Expedition to Freedom, I, I just want to share with you um, some of the asanas that really did impress on me. Some of the asanas I really found interesting. Some of the asanas that you could do you know, sitting down, lying down, standing, you know, much of those asanas that seem quite easy. You could do it behind your desk at work. You could do it once you wake up, just do the normal stretches, okay? So I just, I'm just going to share with you those um, routine that really, you know, I really found quite interesting. They were really tough ones, actually, very tough ones, but these particular ones, I'm sure you'll be able to do it even with, when you have very little space. Well, of course, your yoga must not, not necessarily, it must not necessarily come with um, meditations, but if you want to meditate, fine. If you want to do your visualizations, that's fine. I must mention something first. There's no compulsion that your legs must go all bent if you can't, because in yoga, we understand that the levels of flexibility differ from person to person. So do not force yourself to bend the leg. One of the ways you could actually, if you really want to find that comfort, you could do this. Um, give me a moment, I'm going to get a cushion. You can have a throw pillow, you can use your pillows, okay? One of the ways you could have um, these cushions edge, or you get a stack of books, okay, to do that, to get to that position if you can. Then, um, otherwise, you could do a second method, get the cushion, put it under, your butt, sit on it, and then you'll find that you'll be able to. Personally, I really can't do that. I've, I've actually had, um, I actually have an injury on my ankle area, so my leg is swollen. That's why I can't really do that. But once you sit on that, you'll find that you go, you go down a lot more. Okay, your legs can be able to reach down once you elevate yourself with a cushion. Another thing you could do is, I pray I don't hurt myself. But another thing you could do is this. You have your legs, your knee this way, and then you put the cushion, yeah. So in this position, this is actually quite easy. Once you have a cushion here, you do, you, you get seated this way. This could be easy for anybody. Um, so your legs must not be cross-legged, okay? That's basically what this means. All right, so we get to it. Now I'm going to actually be in this position. This seems quite fair for my feet. I love this particular routine because it really helps your neck, okay? so. I'm going to do the neck area it actually helps so we, one thing again in yoga you must also consider is when you start on the right you have to end on the left okay so there is a lot of technicalities in yoga when it has to do with the left and the right side because the right side actually replicates the Sun and the left side the moon so you make sure that both areas are complete okay so we we'll get to it so starting from the right side you rotate Indirectly, but we don't know that these are the practices. I mean, we don't know that it's actually yoga we're doing. 
another um, another practice would be for your shoulders so you rotate So you're resting between when you're doing your routine. Um, so basically that's what this position is. And also when you feel extremely tired and you just want to drop down and get in a certain position, this position is actually good. Okay, so we're doing this. I'm doing this rather. Okay, so that's for that position. Another position I enjoy, another routine, asana I enjoy is the downward facing dog position. So 
basically the downward facing dog position allows you to tuck your legs your hands rounded okay so you tuck it and then you lift yourself up and give yourself a stretch but now you get your feet to get planted likewise just as your hands are planted then you give it a stretch so ideally for you to know your best in the position your legs must be planted and then you feel a stretch sort of here okay so and then you stretch yourself in and you breathe That is another position. Another position that I also like, another asana position I like, is the baby cobra. So the baby cobra, you get yourself down, and then you lift like this. That's the baby cobra. So you lay down, put your hand right under your shoulder, and then you lift halfway. You're going to feel pressure here. Okay, so. You see how my legs are? Okay. That's baby cobra. Come back. Then a full cobra pose. That's it. Then remember you can come back to downward facing dog position. And that's it for lying down. We have other standing positions, standing postures that you could also do, but I just decided to show you this one. Okay, let me show you one more lying position that I truly love. And here, I get to lay down and then bring my legs in here. And then I lift myself up. Now to give it an intensity, I could bring my hands behind, take my legs up, so you keep going up. When your glute is trying to bring it down, you take it up the more. Okay, and you feel the effect here, right under here. Okay. And that is it. And yeah, one more posture that I love is called the cops asana so basically this is when you're done with your um postures your exercises your practice and you just it's another relaxation um exercise just like the child pose exercise and this is how it goes you just lay down you either leave your palms raised up on both sides okay your legs feet apart your hands just by the side laid helplessly your eyes could be closed or open and you just let yourself breathe but it's best when you close your eyes to do this because your whole body just receives that stillness this is known as the cops pose it's really really sweet I love this pose because it actually just puts me to sleep after all my stretches so there you have it some of the simple um, um, yoga exercises that I loved or fell in love with during my 30 days yoga challenge. So that's that and I'll be seeing you in other videos. Don't forget to subscribe because you just want to. A lot of videos coming. Ciao, love and light. Namaste.